Hello and welcome back to my channel for another cleaning motivation video. Today I'm going to be doing an extreme clean because I've got so much to get through. I want to do a deep clean of the hob, I want to do a deep clean of the washing machine and really just try and do as much as I can. But first of all we need to always start our resets with a little snack so I'm just sitting down amongst the mess and questioning my life choices as you do. The plate area is a bit of a tip to be honest and there's like even beads and buttons that he's just sprinkled all over the floor for me to clean up. So I've got to clean everything up, clean the toys up and just make sure the plate area is in order and then I'm going to crack on with doing the kitchen. any of you live in the UK you will know in the winter it takes like three to four working years for any clothes to dry so I've basically invested in another area this area here I've got my industrial one that's in like the hallway area and I've got a radiator one that's in Arlo's play corner I've got another radiator one on its way as well because I I think it's the only way to dry clothes inside in a timely manner is to just have multiple areas but it is honestly a nightmare in the UK trying to dry clothes in the winter and it's only the start I've got many months yet to come say you love me say you don't just give me something so I can move on Pull me closer Or push me away Let me know if We'll be okay Cause I can't stand another moment Of you playing with my mind I'm so tired I'm 
also just pop in a washing load on using the Lenore Country Garden Mrs Hinch's collection which is actually my favourite, I love it so much. So I'm just putting a washing load on then I'm going to tackle the mess that is the kitchen and because we have such a tiny kitchen, you guys will know if you've got a small kitchen or a small house as well, the mess that accumulates in such a small space of time is actually crazy, like honestly I blink and the house is a mess again. So I'm just trying to do the dishwasher, get all of the cups and plates and everything back in the dishwasher to be put on, and then I can start cleaning the sides and also I'm gonna work on doing the hob because it is disgusting. Honestly, it's vile, so I'm gonna go over that, give it a good deep clean, and that'll make me feel so much better mentally as well because that's just been playing on my mind the last few weeks. Whilst I'm in the cupboards, I'm also just gonna refill any of the containers that need to be refilled, like the cereals and stuff. I do tend to keep back stock of things, like either cereals or cans or sauces, up in the little like white containers at the top, just to have like some sort of a back stock and a system that works, so I know when I go to the shop what we're running low on, and I find that really does help. I also got an under the shelf mug container because we really don't have much cupboard space at all, and I thought I could use the shelf um, on the right as like a multi-functional shelf by being able to put the mug holder underneath the shelf and then just store my mugs there and that's really helped save space as well. I'm going to give the side a wipe down. I love the Zofora bathroom spray so much. I'm actually using it in the kitchen as well. I just find it really helps lift any type of like tough dirt or stain or anything. So it's my go-to at the minute for cleaning. much better does this look already I honestly feel like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders already and I've still got a lot of time left to crack on with the rest of the house which is great I do feel like being a toddler mum things just get so messy so quickly and then throw in the mix a small house and everything else that comes with life it just honestly is recipe for a disaster of a messy house but you know what I started thinking about the fact that 
messy homes are what we're meant to have like homes are meant to be lived in like, that's the whole purpose of it if it was just a show home where no one lived in it it's not really a happy home is it so i did start to think of it in that way and start to think of the mess as a positive because let's face it we're gonna have to live with it for a long time <laughs> seen a hack to make your house smell amazing and it's by using the cinnamon spice sprinkling it all on the floor and then hoovering it up and it apparently makes your house smell like autumn so I'm gonna give it a try and see what it's like and the only way to describe it it smells like you're living in a giant cinnamon bun it smells insane so I would definitely try it out if you want your house to smell nice another way that you can make your house smell nice really easily is by using those plugins we've got one of them the free evolution plugin from febreze they've also do the frosted eucalyptus in that now which i've got from bnm recently i'm going to try it out maybe next week but that's another really quick way you can make your house smell amazing another way you can make your house smell amazing is by using the lenore tumble dryer sheets you know i use them to like reduce the static on skirting boards you can use those actually by popping them in like your pillows like your um, sofa pillows and stuff and it just makes your living room smell instantly amazing and i really think that's a really fab hack as well I wish I had nothing more than those really pretty hobs that people can, you know, like window back and make it all aesthetic. I would love that, but we've got this hob for now. So this is the way that I clean it. I basically use the pink stuff and a scrub daddy. I've got my little Halloween edition one here. And I also use a sonic scrubber to go in the crevices and cracks. So I'm using that today. And then I'm gonna be doing a little hack to make it shiny that I've seen on Instagram. Arlo's gonna be helping me, my little assistant. He's gonna be helping me to do this. But essentially we're using baby oil and a cotton ball. And apparently it makes it like really super shiny so after I've cleaned it I'm gonna go over that and see how the finished look is
Wow, that has actually exceeded my expectations. It is so, so shiny. I've never seen it so shiny before. So that is absolutely brilliant. And I'm gonna move on to cleaning out the washing machine drawer and also inside the drawer itself because that needs a really good deep clean. I like to stay on top of this like every month or every two months because previously, like in my old house, I didn't even realize you had to clean it out and it got really moldy. So I like to just try and stay on top of it and then it's not so bad, it just takes like a few minutes every few months just to clean it out. So I'm gonna crack on with that now and then I'm gonna move on to making the bed upstairs. So let's just talk about my biggest DIY fail ever and that was painting my tiles. You can see it behind the tap. Where the water is, it sort of like makes it peel off. So I've really got to make up my mind and decide whether I'm just gonna like sand all of the paint off and just have it as like the orangey tile or use peel and stick tiles, but then they're so expensive. So I really need to make up my mind and decide what to do because it makes it really hard to clean the tiles themselves. But let this be a lesson to never paint your tiles. Thing I'm gonna try and do quickly as well is sort this sink out. Because it's like an older style sink, it just picks up dirt very, very quickly um, and stains really easily as well. So what I'm gonna do is go in with the pink stuff and the sonic scrubber just to try and lift and move around the dirt a little bit. And then I'm gonna have to go in with some bleach. Bleach I find is the only way to get all of the stain marks off. So what I do is I pour it on, I sponge it in so it's like covered across the whole surface and then I let it sit for about 15 minutes. After that, then I scrub it off and rinse it off and I find that it comes away really sparkling clean. So that's my tip for cleaning this type of sink. As you can see the bleach really makes so much more difference and makes the sink like so much cleaner it lifts all the dirt up so that's absolutely fab we're going to be moving on upstairs now me and Arlo to make the bed and then I'm going to be making some of those ghost strawberries which I'm really excited about making
some reason, when I tried to light this candle, one of the wicks wouldn't light. I don't know why all of these things happen to me, like when I'm trying to make something look fancy and it just never works out that way. So I'm just gonna make these go strawberries. I've just got a few strawberries, I'm gonna cut the tops off them and I've um, melted some white chocolate in a bowl and then I'm gonna dip the strawberries into the bowl making like a little tail, a little bit of an extra bit of chocolate at the bottom. And then I'm gonna put some little eyes on them. You can also do this with yogurt, which is like obviously a much healthier option, but I really wanted to try it out with the white chocolate version and it was a good decision because they tasted so yummy. I also wanted to say, having days like this where you're really productive and you do loads of cleaning and make nice yummy snacks and everything, like that for me is not the norm. Please do not think, that I am constantly doing that. I probably do it maybe once a week, once every other week. To be honest, I save all my cleaning, I save all the, the good things to do when I have the camera on. So please don't ever compare your life or think that people have got their stuff together because I definitely don't. I'm sitting at the moment doing this voiceover in a massive mountain of washing on my bed. So I never want my videos to like come across in that way. The reason that I make them is to help motivate you guys and even to help motivate myself because it is really hard to find the energy and strength within our souls when we're so tired and we're so tapped out and emotionally drained so please do honestly take everything you see with a pinch of soul and go easy on yourself as well because you are doing amazing Thank you guys always so, so much for your support. And remember that I post twice a week, once on a Wednesday at 6 p.m. and once on a Sunday at 9 a.m. And please do go click on more of my videos if you're still cleaning and I will see you in the next one. I've been staring at the ceiling I've been staying up all night Everything I ever worked for vanished in the blink of